magic possums live in Australia. So as koalas and kangaroos. I have possum in my garden. And this story is about possums. Let's have a look. Possum Magic is written by Mem Fox, illustrated by Julie Vivas. For Chloe, Anna and Kate. Once upon a time, but not very long ago, deep in Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush and Grandma Poss. Grandma Poss made bush magic. She made wombats blue and kookaburras pink. She made dingoes smile and emus shrink. But the most magic of all was the magic that made Hush invisible. What adventures Hush had! Because she couldn't be seen, she could be squashed by koalas. Can you see her here? Because she couldn't be seen, she could slide down the kangaroos. Because she couldn't be seen, she was safe from snakes. Which is why Grandma Poss had made her invisible in the first place. The snakes are pretty dangerous. But one day, quite unexpectedly, Hush said, Grandma! I want to know what I look like. Please, could you make me visible again? Of course I can, said Grandma Pause. And she began to look through her magic books. She looked into his book and she looked into that. But was magic for thin, was magic for fat and magic for tall and magic for small. But the magic she was looking for wasn't there at all. Grandma Poss looked miserable. Don't worry, Grandma said, hush, I don't mind. But in her heart of hearts, she did. At night, at night long, all night long, Grandma Poss thought and thought. The next morning, just before breakfast, she shouted. It's something to do with food. People food, not possum food. But I can't remember what. We'll just have to try and find it. So later that day, they left the bush where they'd always been to find what it was that would make Hush see. They ate Anzac biscuits in Adelaide, morning minties in Melbourne, steak and salad in Sydney, and pumpkin scones in Brisbane. Hush remained invisible. Don't lose your heart, said Grandma Paws. Let's see what we can find in Darwin. It was there in the far north of Australia. They found a Vegemite sandwich. Grandma paused, crossed her claws and crossed her feet. Hush breathed deeply and began to eat. A tail, a tail, shouted both possums at once. For there it was, a brand new visible tail. Later on the beach in Perth they ate a piece of pavlova. Hush legs appeared. So did her body. You look wonderful, you precious possum, said Grandma Paws. Next stop. Tasmania. All over the sea they went. In Hobart, late white night, in the kitchens of the casino, they saw a lamington on a plate. Hush crossed her eyes and nibbled. Grandma Poss held her breath and waited. It's worked! It's worked! Said she cried. 
and she was right. Hush couldn't be seen from head to tail. Grandma Paws hugged Hush, and they both danced. Here we go round the Lamington Plate till early in the morning. And we see Hush being visible. From that time onwards, Hush was visible. But once a year, on her birthday, she and Grandma Paws ate a Vegemite sandwich, a piece of pavlova, and half a Lamington, just to make sure that Hush stayed visible forever. And she did. The end. Would you like to be invisible? This book is a great book for kinder uh, and early childhood education and care settings, family day care, after school care, because it's got lots of potential for extension. You can make m magic. Yeah, children love making potions. So you can offer them extensions through giving them some free uh, loose parts and uh, a lot of uh, natural organic uh, things from the garden, natural materials and resources, sand, soil, water, to mix it up, mix, mix, mix and make possum magic and potions. The other thing you can explore as part of your inquiry is what it is to be invisible. Uh, this book has a lot of other things to explore. For example, Australian animals. That's why I bought this book. And I recommend every early childhood center to buy this book and have it in their library. Uh, you can see that a lot of animals here we didn't talk about. For example, some animals uh, children don't know the names of. And uh, some animals can be discussed in terms of what do they like to eat. Yeah, what's their diet? So this book is uh, full of interesting ideas and extensions. So enjoy reading it to children and kinder. Thank you for listening.